A, B, C, D, Marcel. What? Hi! Welcome back! We missed you guys so much. My Zone Active Kids is back again and ready to bring you the most exciting things ever. And here we actively invest in your future because you're superstars. My name is Marisol Sofa, and today my super cool friend is with me in the classroom. Hi friends, my name is Janae Boeta and I'm very excited for today's episode because we're starting a new adventure. We're going to go to our online school and learn new things, we're going to play and we're going to meet up with our friends Oshie and Zoe. Yes, 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 double tick, double tick. You get you 100 per Ooh, Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so friends, this week we're starting a brand new theme and it is called... Special occasions. So anything and everything from birthdays to Mother's Day and Father's Day. And today Shona and I will be having a very special occasion because it's our first day of school. Yes. See my pencil. It's very nice, Marisol. They like smart. Yes, you do. Oh, stop. Kids. <laughs> We are so excited because we saw that you guys are so smart that we wanted to go back to school. We want to also remind you that you should watch every single day of the week from Monday to Friday at 9 on the MyZone and Zoshi pa Facebook pages to see us. Yes, it's almost time for to go to our teachers today, but I think before, before we go there, we should sing a song with our friends. Yes, Glenn, are you ready? <laughs> Shanae, are you ready? I'm ready. If you guys recognize this, please sing it at home with your parents and your brothers and sisters. So, and, and a one, and a two, and a one, two, three. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round, all through the town. The learners on the bus go up and down, up and down. Up and down, the learners on the bus go up and down, all through the town. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 swish. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 all through the town. The tutor on the bus goes beep, 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 beep. The tutor on the bus goes beep, beep, beep. All through the town. <gasps> that was so good, Marisol. Thank you. Oh, yeah, yeah, you were good. Yeah, you you were good. excellent. Stop! <laughs> but now we think it's time for us to head over to our lesson for today. So get your pencils, check, your booklets, check, and your 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 glue ready. Rulers. Check. Your ruler. Because we're going to get smartificated now. Explanation of symbols on worksheets are as follows. Use coloring crayons to color the picture. Use your finger to follow the track or line or show the correct picture. Use a coloring crayon to draw a line or write a number or sound. Look at the picture and say the number or sound out loud. Use a scissors to cut on the dotted line. Look at the picture. Use these symbols for the lesson of the day, which will be allocated at the top right side of each page. For example, lesson one, 
prepositions and directions. Hello and welcome to My Zone Online School. My name is Teacher Mutza and thank you so much for joining me. Our theme for this week is special occasions. And before we get into our first lesson, it's very important for us to sanitize. And when we sanitize, make sure that you sanitize both of your hands, go inside and outside and on your wrists. Make sure that your hands are dry before you touch anything else. It's also very important to check our social distancing by putting your hands to the side and in front of you. Well done. Our lesson today is about counting. Before we get into our first exercise, you can see that I'm holding a box here. And on our first exercise on page three, they also have boxes. Each box has a number on it, and it is our job to fill in the missing numbers. Now, I all, we all know that we know how to count by now, but let's just count up to 10 together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now you can see that there are some missing numbers that need to be put in the boxes. So let us try and fill those boxes in together. Let's take a look at the board. We are going to use our number line to help us fill in the missing boxes. The first one is one. And then the missing box or the missing number is the number two. I would like you to please write the number two. Well done. Remember to take your time when you're writing so that you don't make any mistakes. Let's move to the next box. It has the number three in it. And we are moving to the next one. That one is blank. And the number you should put in there is the number four. Can you please write your four? Very good. Let's move on to the next one. They have given us number five, number six, and the next missing number is the number seven. I'd like you to please write the number seven. Very good, my children. Let's move on to number eight. And number nine is missing. May you please write the number nine. The rest, I'm sure, you can do by yourselves. Remember, it's okay for you to count and check your answers. You can start from the first box, number one, going all the way down until you are able to complete all the boxes. Let's go to the next page, page four. On page four, they have asked us to look at the numbers in the center and write one less on the left-hand side and one more on the right-hand side. You can see that they have given us an example and it looks like this is a school where the bus is leaving. So we are going to help the school fill in those numbers by putting one less on the left-hand side and one more on the right-hand side. Let's start with the one less. Let's take a look at the board. As you can see, I have my left-hand side and my right-hand side. And we have our first number, number five, just like in your booklets. On the left side, which is the left-hand side, if we have one less from five, one less from five is four, just like on our number line. One less five is four. And let's take a look at eight. Remember, we are starting from the left-hand side so that we don't get confused. If we look at eight on our number line, and we're saying one less than eight, 
That means our answer is the number 7. May you please write the number 7. There we go. Let's move on to number 2. What is 1 less than 2? If we look at 2, our less than is the number 1. <laughs> If you guessed that one right, well done. I'd like you to please write the number one. Well done, my clever children. Now let us look at the number seven. So you go to the number seven and you say one less than the number seven. So that's moving backwards to the number six. If you got that one right, very good. Let's write the number six together. Remember, when you're writing, try and take your time so that you don't make any mistakes and your numbers come out perfectly. Let's take a look at one more now. Now, one more means that we are adding one more. So we are taking a step forward. If you can see, your number five, if we take a step forward, forward and count one more, we have number six. And we have our number six here on the right hand side. Let's try and do eight. We know that one less is seven. So if we were to count seven, eight, the next number would be nine. So I'd like you to please write the number nine. Did you get that one correct? Well done. Let's move to the next one. Here we have the number two. And remember, we're counting on and we're writing on the right hand side. So it's one, two. If we add one more, it becomes three. So I'd like you to please write the number three. Remember, when you're writing, take your time so that your numbers will come out beautifully. Let us now move on to the next one. The next number is seven. So what is one number more than seven? We can count six, seven, eight. So let us write the number eight. Very good. If you're getting these correct, good job. I'm very, very proud of you. So by now, your work should look like my work. And I've only done a few because I want you to try the rest by yourselves at home. Remember, one less means that we are stepping backwards and you're writing it on the left-hand side where the example has been given for you. And one more means that we're going forward, which means that you are counting on and adding one more number. Make sure that you check your work by trying to count. For example, seven, eight, nine. I hope you do this by yourselves and you can use your fingers if you'd like as well. Good luck and enjoy yourselves. I hope you enjoyed all that counting and that you finished your work on time. Remember, when you are writing your numbers, please take your time so that you don't make any mistakes. Now let's turn to our next exercise on page 5. On page 5, we can see that there is a classroom there and we have so many different things on the table and around the table. But before we do this exercise, let's take a look at our classroom and see what we have. In your book, you can see that there's a chair and we have a chair as well. There is also crayons in your book and we also have crayons as well. We have a pair of scissors in our classroom. There it is. Yes, there it is. Remember when you're holding a pair of scissors, make sure that you have an adult with you so that you do not hurt yourself. We also have a couple of pens in our classroom and we even have the desk. 
the board. And we have some books as well. Here they are. <laughs> and we even have a trash can or a bin. Let's take a look at our exercise to see what we can do and find. We are supposed to find the things that are in the classroom and then count each item that we find. Let's do the first three things together. The first thing that it's asking you to find is a chair. How many chairs do we have? I can see one. If you guessed one, well done. I'd like you to write the number one in the box next to the chair underneath. Well done. The next thing that we are, are being asked to look for and count is a stapler. Now a stapler is used to put papers together. Can you see a stapler on the teacher's table? Yes, I can see one stapler. So I'd like you to write the number one in the box. The next item we're being asked to look for is the bin or the trash can. Can you see a trash can? Yes, I can see a trash can very similar to the one that we have in our class. And I'd like you to write the number one. Wonderful. Let's count the pens. You can see that there are one, two, three, four, five pens. I want you to count them again just to check. One, two, three, four, five. So we are going to write the number five for the pens. And the rest, I'm sure, you can do by yourselves. Remember, when you find the, the items, I want you to count out loud. Use your finger to point at each item and double check with your eyes. And make sure that when you are done, you have finished every item that is there. And also, if you have time, you can color them as well. Good luck and enjoy yourselves. I hope you managed to find everything on the table as well as to count everything correctly. Now let us take a look at the next page on page six. On page six, we can see that there is a beautiful girl and a handsome boy and there are books all around them. Your job is to count the books. But before we count their books, let's count the books here that we have. On our board, we have a stack of books and I want us to count them together. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven books. Well done if you were counting with me. Now let us write the number seven. Remember, when you're writing, make sure your handwriting is neat so that we can see what you are writing. So it is your job to make sure that you complete the exercise and count all of the books. I want you to please use your finger as you are counting and say it out loud as well, if you want to. And this is the last exercise for today. I hope you enjoyed yourselves and remember, when we're done with any exercises, we're supposed to sanitize. And the reason why we sanitize is to make sure that no germs get on our hands. And when you're done sanitizing, make sure that your hands are dry before you touch anything else. It's also very important for you to check your social distancing by putting your hands by your side and in front of you. Well done. And I want to ask if my special friend is around today. Hello, Zoe, are you here today? Oh, there she is. So from Zoe and I, we would like to say, Goodbye.
Wise, Marsala. Marsala. Oh, you can read good, Marisol. I am smart about this because of our teachers. We just had the first lesson. And Glitter here is done learning, so she just decided to throw away her book because why not? But we are not done yet because we learned so many exciting things today. So Shanae and I were taught how to count until the number 20. So Shanae, can we please count yes. with our friends? Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. I just need to stretch. Okay. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20! Now we have 20. There's it's 20 fingers. Like 20 mm -hmm. fingers. Yes! Yes! But Jenna, I think it's time for us now to go see the two coolest people we know. Yes, it's time to see what Zoshi and Zoe are up to. Hello, hello, how are you? I'm good, I'm good, I'm great, I'm great, I'm wonderful. Hooray! Hello, 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 how are you? I'm good, I'm good, I'm great, I'm great, I'm wonderful. Hooray! Hi friends, we missed you so much. I am Zoshi and I love maths and lunch. And I am Zoe and I love English and science. And we are brother and sister. Today is such an exciting day. We are starting a new week all about special occasions. Today we want to share what we remember of our very first day of school with you guys. Sashi, what a day it was! We had the bestest time ever! We first had to get all our school things ready the day before. We packed our bags and we had a bunch of things we had to take with us to school. Zoe, today we learned to count until 20 with our friends. So maybe we should think of 20 things you need to remember on your first day of school. First is to have your lunchbox ready because I get really hungry sometimes. Zoshi always thinks of food first. In that case, number two has to be some healthy snacks like fruits. Three is your water because we need to drink lots of water to stay hydrated. Four is your jacket to help you with the cold. Five has to be your first pair of school shoes. I had yellow ones just like the sun. Seven has to be a pair of socks so your feet stay cozy, warm and don't smell. Ooh, ooh Zoe, eight has to be a bow tie. It looks super smart and I'm ready for action. Nine has to be your hair ribbons. Look at my ribbons. Oh, they're beautiful, Zoe. To keep your hair out of your beautiful face. Ten has to be pencils to write with. And eleven is crayons to draw with. Twelve is an eraser because if you make a mistake, which is okay, you can erase the mistake in one, two, three. Thirteen is your pencil case to put in all your stationery. Fourteen is your backpack to put in all your school things. Fifteen is a lot of energy because it's going to be a super fun day. Sixteen is your bravery because you might get scared but you need to be there the bravest you have ever been. Seventeen is your thinking cap because you'll be learning a bunch of new things. Eighteen is to remember your social distancing. And nineteen has to be your mask. 
20 is to kiss your mom and dad to say bye. Zoji, it's time for our super fun song about our friend Mia that we made on our first day about her morning routine before school starts. Oh, yes, Zoe, let's start. Are you ready? Ready. And a one. And a two. And a one, two, three. This is Mia's morning routine. Morning routine. Morning routine. Hey, this is Mia's morning routine. She does this every day. Get up, get up, get up. It's time to rise and shine. Morning has broken. Let's sing this little rhyme. First, let's have a big stretch. Now, a little yawn. Time to get out of bed. Come on, come on, come on. This is Mia's morning routine. Morning routine. Morning routine. This is Mia's morning routine. She does this every day. Next, it's time for the bathroom. Go for a wee and get ready. Yay! After the bathroom, we get dressed and then we brush our hair. After this, let's eat some breakfast. Eat breakfast. Eat breakfast. Yay! Then we go home, brush our teeth. We're ready for the day. This is Mia's morning routine. Morning routine. Morning routine. Hey! This is Mia's morning routine. She does this every day. Zoe, it's time for my super cool fact again. Did you know that lions can't roar until the age of two? Wow! That's so cool! Friends, remember that learning is extremely, extremely important. So always make the most of every learning opportunity you get. That is so true, Zoe. But that is it, that is it from us today, friends. We will see you again tomorrow. Bye! Bye. Zoe and Zoshi were just so much fun, Shanae. Oh, I love them. But now I think it's time for us to have some fun. But before we have fun, we want to thank Innovation so much for these super fun print bags. If you want to arrange anything for your party, please visit info at kickstartnam.com because you're a superstar and you need the best. Now, Shanae, I'm ready for action. What am I doing today? Okay, so today we want to pack our school bags for our first day of school. So because we learned to count to the number 20 today, yes. we have to put 20 of our school, ba uh, school supplies into our bag. Ooh. But we're going to work together. Teamwork makes the dream yes. work. So what we're going to do is we're only going to use the outside hand, only one hand, mm -hmm. pick up one of the school supplies over our bodies and into the bag. That sounds like fun. Do you, are you ready? I am. Okay. But you can start because I'm very polite. My mom says I should be more polite. So <laughs> you are the one that can start. Okay, so our friends at, at home, you can count with us to make, we sh make sure we get 20 school supplies into our bag. Ready? Yes. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Pew! eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 
19. Wait for it. Just give me a second. Last one. Last one. 20. Oh, on, Marisol. We have 20 school supplies in our bag. That was very good. I had so much fun and thank you so much for joining me, Shane. And we want to remind you guys at home that you can do these super fun exercises at home using normal things and just having fun and staying active. And please remember that on the 12th of August, we have our Careers VX Expo. It's going to be a blast, my friends. So remind your brothers and sisters and remember that you are the star. And like they would say in Afrikaans, you are a staff. <laughs> and we will miss you guys. Thank we you, Shane. Thank you.